computer love, digital adultery. You reading these dirty sex messages in your own voice and getting turned. No, you know, you know how nasty that is, man. You watching porn three in the morning with your wife in the your wife in the other room and sleep. Unity. Yeah. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. I'm Captain Gaddy. You are tuned in with 15 minutes with the captains. All praises. Today's class is going over computer love, digital adultery. All right, so let's start off Sirach 23 and 1. We're going to get right to it. Let's go. The book of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, chapter 23 and verse 1. Come on. O Lord, Father and Governor of all my whole life, Come on. lead me not to their counsels, mm -hmm. and let me not fall by them. Who will set scourges over my thoughts? The scourges over your thoughts. That's, that's, that's your thoughts. Thoughts being beaten into submission. Who will set scourges over your thoughts? Come on. And the discipline of wisdom over mine heart. That's the purpose of these 15 minutes with the captain's classes. That's the purpose of the of the of the bishops, the deacons, the teachings that you see going on week in and week out. That's the purpose. Read that again. Who will set scourges over my thoughts? Read. And the discipline of wisdom over mine heart. That's what these classes are here to do. It's here to give you the discipline and the wisdom over your mind. Because that's what your heart is. Your heart is your mind. Read. That they spare me not that for my what? that they spare me not for mine ignorance. So when you watch these classes, guess what? You don't have no more excuses, man. You don't have no excuses to be ignorant on sin. You have no excuses to be ignorant. You have no excuses on why you're falling into sin till this day. You have no excuses. Come on. And it passed not by my sins. Read. Lest mine ignorances increase, and my sins are bound to my destruction. And I fall before mine adversaries, and mine enemy rejoice over me. So that's the purpose of these 15 minutes with the captain's classes, all right? So that you don't uh, fall before your adversaries. So your sins don't abound to your destruction. So today we're going over computer love, digital adultery. It's meant so that you don't fall to your destruction. Because a lot of brothers, a lot of you brothers, and a lot of you sisters is out there committing adultery, commit fornication on the telephone, on text messages, on uh, uh, what, uh what's, social media, Facebook, Instagram. What's the other ones? Uh, OnlyFans in the DM, sliding in the DMs, all on the internet, thinking that you're safe, but you actually in the midst of sin. Jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. Two sorts of men multiply sin, Go ahead. and the third will bring wrath. Mm -hmm. A hot mind is a burning fire. Read. It will never be quenched. Till it be consumed. Watch this. A fornicator. A what? A fornicator. A fornicator. In the body of his flesh. Come on. Will never cease till he hath kindled a fire. A fornicator in the body of his flesh will never cease till he hath kindled a fire. What is that fire? That's death. That's destruction. But you just keep scratching. You just gotta keep scratching that itch to eventually not now now you 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 don't got to the flesh. 
Now you got open wounds. Now you got infection. Now you got disease. And now you're dead. Now the most stop putting your ass to death because you just can't stop scratching that itch, man. Go ahead. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. All what? All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how, how true this, this uh, verse is. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger even when you can't see the bread. <laughs> even when you can't see the bread or hear the bread. You get a message from a, a, a DM. Somebody done DM'd you, right? I'm going to come over and do this, do that to you. You don't even know what's going on. This could be anybody. This could be the damn FBI setting your ass up. This could be anybody. This could be a man on the, on the other end of the line. The LGBTQ one two three ABC on the other line, brothers ain't <laughs> brothers got to do reach arounds to make sure <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna tell y'all, man. The bre all bread is sweet. You 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 think you you don't hooked up with a transvestite, a transvestite who leg. Bigger than your leg. Anyway, <laughs> read that again, bro. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. Come on. He will not leave off till he dies. I say you ain't going to leave off till you die. You ain't going to leave off till you die. That means you can't be satisfied. You cannot get enough. You'll sleep with anything. Anything with a post, you'll stick your thing in it. But you don't even realize, because we're going over digital, right? Computer love. You don't even realize that this whole time you've been messaging a man. Mm. Hey, hey, you know what's cake? We, we, we talked about this earlier. When you online writing these chat rooms and and uh 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 what's the other one? Uh, OnlyFans, sexting, social media, right? You don't even realize that when you reading these messages that's turning you on, you reading them in your own voice. <laughs> you don't even know the person on the line. You don't even know what they sound like. You reading these dirty sex messages in your own voice and getting turned. No, you know, you know how nasty that is, man? That's some nasty stuff, man. Read on. A man that breaketh wedlock. A man that commits adultery. Come on. Saying dust in his heart. Who seeth me? Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. Go ahead. The walls cover me. See, that's what we think. We think nobody's seeing us. We think nobody see what's going on, but the Lord got your number. The Lord got your number. Come on. And nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? Read. The most high will not remember my sin. Watch this. Such a man only feared the eyes of men. This is how you know when it comes to digital or, or another word that they use for it is, uh, 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 what's it? Cyber? Infidelity. Cyber infidelity. There you go. That's what I'm looking at. Cyber infidelity. This is how you know that you only fear the eyes of men. Because what do you do when you're about to get caught? Delete the messages. <laughs> Block the number. Change your number. Now, oh, damn, I'm about to get caught. Now I got to delete all the messages. Now I got to be sneaky about it. What you mean? The most I already saw you. Right. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. You only look at porn sites on incognito mode. Mm, damn. That's some evil stuff, man. For you incognito brothers out there. I ain't going to say no names. <laughs> Read verse 19 again, bro. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, Read. and know it not that the eyes of the Lord Come on. are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. The Lord say his eyes is brighter than what you even can even fathom. 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You can't even fathom that brightness. You can't even come. It's no way that you can even know what that brightness looks like. It's 10,000 times brighter than the sun. When the sun out, everything gets gets shown. So just imagine with ten times that, you can't hide nothing. Ain't nothing can hide not your car, not your closet, not the earth, not not a bunker. Can't nothing not 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 a phone. Nothing can hide from something that's ten times brighter than the sun. Read on. Beholding all the ways of men. And considering the most secret parts. The most secret parts is talking about your mind. It's talking about your thoughts. Talk about the things that you don't tell nobody. 
the things that only you and God hears. That's what the secret part's going into. All right. So let's get the video. Let's get the first video. This is a tweet from Kevin. Is having an online relationship considered cheating if I'm not doing anything physical? Ooh, ooh. That's the it. Whole, everyone, that was a resounding yes. <laughs> if you are in a committed relationship and you find yourself looking for some type of emotional or connection outside of your relationship, then that is a huge red flag. And we know that cheating looks very differently in relationships. Um, because people always assume that it's just the physical, you know, you have to have sex and that's considered mm -hmm. cheating, but there's emotional affairs that are out there and we have to be cautious of that oh, too. And nowadays, I mean, the, the playing field is totally different now with, with phones and, and uh, yeah. social and media, social media, internet. I mean, a lot can go on there. Oh yes. Yeah. Sliding in someone's DM well, is a thing. And yeah. <laughs> sharing pictures and all that kind of stuff. I mean, okay, maybe it's not direct physical contact, but and frequently, I, I feel like people know frequently, if you're having a conversation in your head trying to figure out if you're cheating, not cheating, you probably should probably. be cheating. And I always say, if you're in a healthy relationship, if you can't do it or say it in front of your significant other, you probably shouldn't be doing it shouldn't. So, yeah, so the question yeah. is, is sexting cheating? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Emotional affairs is still adultery. Why? We 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 gonna get it. We's gonna get it. So the question is: Is sexting cyber infidelity? Is that considered adultery? Is that considered cheating? As as the world likes to say, is that considered sin in the eyes of God? So let's see what Esau say. Let's see what Esau say. Is sexting cyber infidelity adultery? Let's see what Esau say. Hi, Michael Schuster here on behalf of the team of all types of divorce professionals at Divorce Specialist Group. I know there will be a lot of opinions on the topic of this one. Are you ready? Is cyber cheating or sexting really considered cheating? Now, I know before your thoughts and emotions start firing on all cylinders, more importantly, what we really are trying to determine here is how does the law define an affair? and infidelity when it comes to technology or the internet or personal phones and cyberspace. Now I talk in more detail about the topic of actual adultery in another blog post in another video called Marital Affairs and Divorce Settlements. So be sure to check it out uh, about how it affects or does not affect as the case may be financial settlements. But the topic of this video and this blog post is about whether sexting or electronic communications is in fact considered to be cheating or infidelity in the eyes of the law the short answer is no Stop. cyber cheating does esau says cyber cheating is not legally qualified as adultery get a becket one and four so esau say no esau said according to the law you can sex somebody else as long as it's texting all you want you can go online and have an emotional, uh, 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 what's it called? Emotional affair relationship with somebody online all you want. Because it's not adultery, according to Esau. Get Habakkuk 1 and 4. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 4. Come on. Therefore, the law is slack. God said the law is slack, man. Read. And judgment doth never go forth. Read. For the wicked doth come pass about the righteous. For the wicked come passes. Come on. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Wrong judgment proceeds out of the wicked's mouth. They say it's not a dog. They say a woman, a sister that's married, can sext, what do they call it? sexting? Can commit sexting with another brother. And that's not adultery. They say a brother that's married can commit sexting with a sister. And for those that don't know what sexting is, Sexting is when you text someone about how you want to have sex with them. <laughs> it's sexting. God say you can't do that. Matter of fact, let's let's see what God say. Get Isaiah 42 and 21. Let's see what God say about this thing. Computer love, digital adultery. Yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 21. Come on. 
The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. Please. He will magnify the law. He will what? He will magnify the law. And that's what Christ did. Christ magnified the law. Christ put things in the plate, a deeper understanding of the way we're supposed to keep God's laws. Read on. And make it honorable. And make the law honorable. Matthew 5, 27. Matthew 5, 27. We got to read quick. Christ magnified the law. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 27. Come on. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, mm -hmm. thou shalt not commit adultery. Come on. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman, looketh on a woman, to lust after her committed adultery with her already in his heart. So when you look upon a woman to commit adultery, you lust after this woman, you have committed adultery already in your mind. Get James 1.14. Get James 1.14. So it's lust in your mind. Then comes the act. Lust in your mind. Then comes the act. But watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Because some might say, well, I never actually committed adultery physically. Even though I lusted after this sister. Even though I lusted after this brother. I never actually, commit, I never actually did the act. Therefore, I'm innocent. No, watch this, James 1, 14. Watch the this. book of James, chapter 1 and verse 13. 14. Verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Every man is tempted after their own lust. Come on. And enticed. And enticed. Then when lust has conceived. When lust has conceived. It bringeth forth sin. Stop. When you are enticed, that means that the, the, the clock starts to tick. The clock starts to tick. When you are enticed, now you're meddling with the thought. When you are enticed, read on. And sin. When uh, it uh, is, go, go back to enticed. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. You're drawn away the lust. And enticed. You start meddling with the thought of the lust. Then when lust hath conceived. When lust hath conceived. It bringeth forth sin. It bringeth forth sin. And what is the gap between the enticement? And lust being conceived, bringing forth sin. Opportunity. <laughs> That's why Christ said, when you look upon a maid to lust, you have already committed adultery. The only thing stopping you is what? Opportunity. That means when you get the opportunity, it will happen. Because you've already been enticed. You've already been enticed. The lust has been conceived. Therefore, bring sin which ultimately brings death. So go back to Matthew 5. Go back to Matthew 5, 27. We the, almost done. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. Come on. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, mm -hmm. thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already you in are, his heart. You already committed adultery in your mind. The only thing that's stopping you from doing the physical act is the opportunity. That's why Christ say, I'm going to magnify the law. You're not going to get over it no more. You're not going to be able to say, well, I didn't physically do it. Therefore, I'm innocent. Therefore, I ain't no sin. Nah, brother. Nah, sister. You have done it in your mind. You have lusted in your mind. That's why, that's why you get these cyber infidelity, this uh, uh, digital adultery, this computer love. You, you fall in love with somebody that's on, a, on the other side of the screen that you don't even know what they look like. <laughs> Emotional affairs. You married, but, on the, but, but uh, uh, three in the morning, you online texting somebody on, on, on the dog on computer screen. You sexing somebody in the chat room. You watching porn. Three in the morning, but your wife in the your wife in the other room and sleep. Sisters watch porn too. Mm. You porn watching sisters? We know y'all out there. You gotta repent from that thing. Uh, where we at? Go to the porn video. Hey, what what time we at? Gosh, go to Wisdom of Psalm six eleven. Last scripture. So, brothers and sisters, you cannot be having 
uh, cyber infidelity. You cannot be online sexting. You can't be sexting one another. Six and 11. You can't be doing that stuff, man. God is against that. The Most High is against that stuff. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 11. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 11. Wherefore, set your affections upon my words. Set what? Set your affection upon my words. God says, set your affection upon his words. <laughs> Not the words from your, uh, 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 your uh, cyber husband. Not the words from your cyber wife. Not the words from, from, from the, uh, uh, the person you sexting. Not the words from, uh, 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 what's the... Uh, escorts, not the words from the, the the sex hotline, not the word from somebody that don't slid in your DM. Read that again. Wherefore, set your affection upon my word. God says, set your affection upon His words, the holy scriptures, the commandments, the statutes, the laws, the judgments, everything that God set forth for us to do. We must set our affection upon that. Read. Desire them. Do what? Desire them. You want to desire something? Desire the words of God. Don't desire attention from your coworker. For you, for you, uh, 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 you, uh, work wives out there. For you, work husbands out there. Don't desire affection from somebody that ain't your wife. Somebody that ain't your husband. Don't desire affection from uh, uh, uh. Give me a porn star name. Boaz, give me a porn star name. What's a porn star name? Huh? Mia Khalifa. I don't even know what that is. A uh, Pinky. Ain't Pinky a porn star? Pinky? Yeah, don't don't desire. Yeah, that's old school. Don't desire affection from Pinky the porn star. Don't desire affection from that stuff. Read on. And ye shall be instructed. And ye shall be instructed. So I'll praise the most high. This has been Captain Gad with 15 minutes with the captain. With that I say, Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.